Former President Donald Trump plans to reach out to Iowa voters tonight while his two closest Republican rivals appear on in a debate that Trump once again decided to skip. A new poll shows one challenger gaining ground in another key state, though. Our Ed O'Keefe is following the candidates in the final stretch before Monday's Iowa caucuses. Good evening. On television. I'm the candidate who's most in tune with the values here of Iowa Republicans. Uh, and I think if you're a conservative, I'm your guy. And driving through the snow to be on the stump. Don't complain about what happens in a general election if you don't play in this caucus. It matters. Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley are now in Iowa for the final five days. Governor, how are you preparing for the debate tomorrow night? And are set to face off in a one-on-one -on -one debate tonight. While DeSantis and Haley look to be vying for second in Iowa, a new poll shows Haley has cut former President Donald Trump's lead in New Hampshire down to just single digits. The only way we're going to win the majority of Americans is if we go forward with a new generational leader that leaves the negativity and the baggage in the past. That argument resonates with first-time Iowa caucus voter Lauren Vanderreet. A conservative female president is something that I think America could use right about now. Bob Rawlings voted for Trump in 2020, but says he's leaning to supporting either Haley or DeSantis. And we'll be closely watching the debate tonight. To me, they're they're pretty even. That's why I'm undecided. Um, I think uh, with me, um, obviously, uh, one of the issues is uh, border security and the lack of uh, good policy towards that. So I want to hear what they both have to say about plans for border security. The plunging temperatures, the wintry mix. All of it is a big concern now, Anne-Marie, in the coming days. We checked again this morning. Currently, the high on Monday is negative 19. Ask yourself, is there something you would leave your house for on a Monday night if the temperatures are that low? I think a lot of Iowans will be asking themselves that question in the coming days. But those numbers out of New Hampshire, putting Haley now single digits behind former President Donald Trump, have him concerned. He's unleashing a new round of attack ads on her on television, making baseless claims online. And it's all something he's likely to bring up tonight in his own town hall while Haley and Governor Ron DeSantis are debating on another channel. Yeah, well, if you're asking me, uh, the, the question is pretty much, the answer is pretty much nothing. Um, so, but these are Iowans. They're used to this sort of weather, I thought. Um, let us talk about this, though, this debate tonight, right? So if they don't want to go out in the freezing temperatures, it's okay, because tonight they can watch at least and get an idea of who they think is worth their vote um, and then decide if they want to go out. Uh, what are you going to be looking for when you watch this debate? Can either of these two that are going head-to-head -head really try to separate themselves from the other in terms of policy? Because there are a lot of voters here listening for that, especially on the issues of border security and the future of immigration policy in this country. And do either of them decide in this setting to, if not only attack each other, perhaps go a little more aggressively at former President Trump? And I think it's a, it's a good opportunity also to see the ways that currently these two talk about him. Mm. Haley and DeSantis making similar arguments that the party can't afford to have him be the nominee this year and expect to win not only the presidency but hold on to Congress and hold on to governorships across the country. But does either of them make it more personal or raise concerns about what's going on in Washington and New York this week specifically with his court dates? If they do, that's a little different, but it is potentially to the detriment of their fortunes here if you're trying to still pick away people who maybe are deciding between them and the former president. Yeah, I think this has we'll potential. It's a, it's a tricky balancing act. It is. It has the potential to be either the most interesting debate we've seen so far or the most boring, depending on the approach that they want to take. Um, Ed, thanks a lot. All right, let's stick with CBS News for reporting and analysis out of Iowa ahead of Monday's caucuses. Margaret Brennan anchors Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern and again at 5 p.m. with more on the key issues with insight from CBS News' political correspondents like Ed O'Keefe and campaign reporters. And on Monday, January 15th, join us all day long for up-to-the-minute coverage of the Iowa caucuses right here on CBS News.